So welcome to Brick Trends, and I'm Joey. And today, well, I got a long little story to get to a little bitty book. Uh, so Robin Hall, put a card to him if you don't know him. He's on the Instagram, and he's got that stuff on YouTube, and he's mostly known for doing Fabuland stuff. And he's a friend of Brick Czar and myself. And he sent us a picture. He sent Brick Czar and myself some pictures of this magazine century 21 tv or century tv 21 here's a here's a this is the annual so this was a whole bunch of the books the books are much longer it was a, like a newspaper print and i have a couple copies of those but they're actually in a frame behind <laughs> behind one of the advertisements that's inside there that i had blown up and printed out um so i wasn't going to take those out of the frame uh at any rate this is the annual, and I purchased the annual thinking that this ad that was in there for Lego, uh, which is a really cool ad. In fact, I'll put a picture of it up. So that was the ad, and, it, and the whole thing about this Century 21 TV was that it was supposed to be in the year 2000 and something. It was, it was 100 years into the future or something like that. Does it say on the annual? It doesn't really say on the annual. Let me put my reading glasses on. But it, you know, it was a lot of comic books and stuff. So that's really not what we're here for. So that's what started it. So that started me and Jabbo down the hunt for these Century 21s with the ads in them. So one of the things that you could get with these ads were these blueprints. Okay. And these, you know, you got to remember back in 1965, which is when those century tv 21s were coming out lego did not have a lot of blueprint or a lot of instructions with their sets so i mean these are branded lego and everything but i don't i don't know if this is the direction they were taking for blueprints or if this was just a one-off for this particular ad campaign with that with that magazine but here's here's that i know jabbo's done some videos on this this is the windmill and it's basically looking down on the Lego model that you're building and then each layer as it comes up and there's a key for which color depends on what patterns in there. Let alone, you know, they called them like four studs and eight studs. And yes, the all uh, very humorous uh, slim bricks. So. All right, so that's the windmill. That was number one. Number two is a house. No, it's a boathouse. It says boathouse right there. So it's the same, same layout. Okay. Uh, there were four of these. Number three is the bus. And my bus is in pretty ratty shape. It's not very good condition at all. But... I have a copy, so that's number three. And then that left us with number four, which is the astronaut. And I think Earl has challenged me and Jebel to build these. <laughs> I think he wants to build them on the AFO podcast, but I know me and Jebel both are not real big on live stream building. It's it's too hard to keep track of everything and, and build. If I'm gonna build a model, I just wanna focus on just building the model. Okay, so that's not what this video is about. This is just me showing what led up to this right so when that was all done and i'm pretty sure it was robin hall that sent this picture too correct me if i'm wrong briggs are all remember if i'm wrong this picture showed up in uh in our instagram feed or whatever and um i think it was a dm on instagram and basically it was, yeah, challenge to, uh, yeah, find this. So this is a storybook. Anna and Miranda and Mark build a house. A Lego legend. Now I posted a picture of this on my Instagram. Um, there is, if you want all the pages, uh, it's on Brick Shelf. You can go to Brick Shelf, but it is literally a book. And there's a picture of a boat. Um which you have the instructions to build the boat here in a minute. It, it's a storybook. It's it's quite extensive storybook, to be honest. Um, 
there's a lot more words than pictures. So this is, this was obviously aimed at a child that could read, right? And read well. This is probably beyond first grade reading level. Uh, keeps going, it keeps going, it keeps going. Kind of giving away the plot there, and then we get to the end. And the whole deal is, is at the end of this, put my reading glasses on, you can build the boat, all right? Which, it seems kind of like there's not a lot, of, a, a lot of instructions there, but that's the boat. And then you can build this house. Kind of reminds me of the old lady that lives in a shoe type house. <laughs> except it's not a shoe. Uh, so there's the instructions for the house. And I think there's one more page there. I don't know a lot about this book other than it's in the same type of blueprint style as these that came from Century 21. The only markings in the book is back here where it says it's printed in England. If I keep fiddling this thing around, I'm gonna actually tear the binding off. Um, need to quit. No dates. One shilling is the price. You know, and the only, only mark is printed in England. So I know, I know very little about this. <clears throat> One thing that is interesting, we've, we've kind of made jokes about in the old days, Lego did not like to have their, our, Currently in the modern era, and this is goes back, you know, probably early 70s, 60s. I'm not sure where they made it official, but they do not like Lego printed with lowercase letters. But all through this book, anywhere it mentions Lego, and it does mention Lego, it is always capitalized like they want. So I thought that was interesting because a lot of their own advertising and almost all of the Samsonite advertising was big L, little E G O. Um, it doesn't really help me date it. Anybody knows anything uh, about this book, put it in the comments. Uh, me and Jabba would be thrilled to know more information about it. Um, but there it is, a very rare book. And yeah, I had to get this off of eBay. Take my reading glasses off because I can't see anything. Everything's blurry with my reading glasses on. <laughs> um, had to get this off of eBay out of England and it ended up the person that was selling it was not going to sell it in the United States. So that took, it took me a while to even be able to find it. I had to go to the European UK or the UK website and whatever. I, I was able to find a copy of it for sale. And then, like I said, they didn't want to sell it. So I contacted them and then they said, yeah, they would sell it or ship it um, to the United States, but they were giving me a price and the price was, you know, it was really like $13. I thought, well, that's not really that bad. I've, I've paid more to ship stuff to California. So, I was really glad to get it, um, and I've only I've only seen two of these for sale. The other one I only f saw it for sale because I was looking through uh, eBay for past items that have sold. You know, recently there's a way of kind of looking for that, and I noticed that one had sold in a lot in a book lot. Um, so that was kind of cool. So it is pretty rare um, from that standpoint. So all right, that's my little show and tell for the day. Uh, Anna, Miranda, and Mark build a house. A Lego legend. Thanks for watching. Well, you've made it to the end of the line. So, there was a set, an old vintage set, that would have built most of the house. Which set was it? You also would have needed a bunch of supplement. So, it was actually kind of expensive to buy to build this house in 65. Um, first correct answer with the set, the main set that you needed to build the house, in the comments. I'll pin you to the top. Yes, the answer is in the video. <laughs>